and welcome back to another edition of This Is Live, showcasing the best of Nottingham's musical talent, filmed here at the Rescue Rooms and Stealth. And this week we're joined by an experimental folk rock musician. Please welcome Jay Hart. She puts her red jeans on Starting with the session work, who, who have you worked with over the years and sort of how many years have you been doing it for? Um, oh, ten years probably. Right. And all out of Nottingham. I'm from Nottingham, you know, I'm from here and, and, and kind of I know someone that uh, played for Spiritualised who asked yeah. me to play for Spiritualised. So that was kind of my first big thing to do because they'd yeah. never toured before. Right. And it was like I was a big fan. And then they said, said can you come and do an American tour with the band that I loved? And it was yeah. like, oh, this is just amazing. And yeah. it was all these kind of cool. weird degrees of separation. I, I did uh, I did that and then after that I met a guy who was in the Lighthouse family who asked me to start a band yeah. with him called the Orange Lights. Yeah. And that came out of someone that he knew in Nottingham that knew me that I'd done the spiritualised thing. That was the weird, it was all this weird Nottingham link. Yeah, I'm amazed so much as goes on in Nottingham. Well it's all under, it's kind of bubbles under the radar. Yeah, bit. yeah. There is blowing leaves around your front in your eyes I wipe the tears and pull the grit out of your blue eyes If every day could feel like this I think that I would pinch myself in And is it right you were in a band with The Strokes producer? Yes. Gordon, is it Raphael? I was indeed. So how did, how did that come about? Um, he knew someone that I knew um, again, yep. and um, and said that I need this guitar player, and it was like it can't be this guy, surely is what I was thinking. So I went down to London with my guitar and on the train, right, and my pedals, and there's this crazy guy, you know, who said, "Yeah, my name's Gordon, and uh, I've just produced the Strokes, and I want to start a band." Right. And um, it was like, okay. Was he a British guy? No, he's American. American. Yeah, he's a New Yorker. Well, he's from Seattle actually, but he was living in New York then, and then he lived in right. London, and so we did this band together. And, and then uh, we just did loads of gigs like V Festival, made an album, and because he uh, was who he was, we got, uh, we got a great deal, and it was great, it was a wonderful guy. The feeling's washing over me If every day could feel like this I think that I would Pinch myself in this side And out I would be smiling Travel a fair bit in sessions. Where, where's sort of one of the places that sticks out as being sort of the most Australia. memorable? Australia, oh, right. was good. America was good. Was that still on the country tour? These are the little places you. No, went? that was with a uh, spiritualised with, with America. I've been to Australia doing solo stuff. Wow. Lots of times, yeah. And the problem is, it's kind of in my blood. I've always, I've always sort of travelled around a lot. Yeah. And, and kind of never really settled. I've always sort of come back here, and then just darted off again with my bag. It's kind of. It, that's what suits you. Yeah, yeah, I think Kind so. of on the move all the time. And what made you sort of suddenly make the surge to, to follow your solo career at this stage? Um, because I've played for so many of the other people so much of the time. And, you know, I, I do gigs around Nottingham and stuff, and I've always yeah. done that. And then I'll go off, and I'll come back and do that, and then I'll teach someone, and I'll go off. And I just thought, no, Jay, just... It's time to just concentrate. do you, your album. Yeah. Because you've been boring everyone silly about it for so, so it's long. So co it's completed? Yeah. I will be. Smiling, I would be smiling, I would be. Did it, 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 did it. Were any other musicians involved in, in the album, on the album? Yeah, lots actually. Um, Is that again just like people you knew, kind of yeah. calling in favours and well, stuff? Well, the, the guy that I worked with, Matt, he and I were in Gordon's band um, and he, we just got on straight away. And so he roped in some guys who played for it. The bass player for Amy Winehouse played on it and this guy from right. Nashville played on it and just favours. All these people wow. kept turning up and Matt said, right, I've got these guys in today. And like, you know, three gospel guys would turn up and sing. <laughs> wow. Yeah, and then this so it's quite a complex album. It's, it's sort of mixed styles and different yeah. musicians. Well, the thing is, is that the spiritualised thing and the orange lights thing was kind of, we always thought of it as kind of gospel rock, soul rock kind of thing, choirs yeah. and 
you know, just kind of that big sort of sound. And I suppose it's just kind of in inspired what I've done. I I'd like to think it had. I will be So remember, if you're from Nottingham and you write and perform your own music and you'd like to be on This Is Live, then send me an email to zoe.kirk at nottinghameveningpost.co.uk. And thanks again to Jay Hart. Thank you. Cheers. <laughs>